Hello everyone, my name is Professor Nilesh Anandwani and today I am going to teach you account of a ATP production in aerobic versus anaerobic respiration. This topic is from the chapter number 14, Respiration in Plant from 11th Standard CBC. A topic is small, but in this topic I will teach you how many pathways are there in aerobic respiration and how many are in anaerobic respiration plus what is the amount of or what is the quantity of ATP production takes place in aerobic as well as anaerobic respiration. So let's start. So here we go. We have a, I mean, I'm using a graphic tablet to teach you this topic. So here we have aerobic respiration as well as anaerobic respiration. First of all, what is aerobic respiration? The liquid, the living organism which required oxygen for the respiration, they are called aerobic organism and such respiration is called aerobic respiration. And uh, non-living organ, sorry, not 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 living, the living organism which do not require oxygen, but they can complete their respiration by only use of carbon dioxide. Such organism are called anaerobic organism, and their respiration is called anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration has a three step. First one is glycolysis. Second one is Krebs cycle, and third one is electron transport chain whereas in anaerobic respiration there are three steps first one is glycolysis second one is decarboxylation and third one is reduction now start with aerobic respiration aerobic respiration start with a first molecule called glucose glucose molecule enter into cytoplasm and uh, in cytoplasm Glycoly glycolysis reaction takes place where we generate two ATP molecule and then second reaction from the glycolysis is Krebs cycle where again also we obtain two ATP molecule and third reaction is electron transport system or electron transport chain and where we obtain 34 ATP molecule. So if you count totally so we are getting 38 ATP molecule out of one glucose molecule from complete aerobic respiration yes so from one glucose molecule we obtain 38 ATP during yes aerobic respiration now talk about anaerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration uh, Pathways are not similar like aerobic respiration. There are some differences. Like first is a glycolysis. Why first glycolysis is common in both of them? Because glycolysis process happen in the cell cytoplasm. And cytoplasm is possessed by anaerobic organism also. Okay. So from uh, anaerobic respiration, first step is glycolysis where we obtain two ATP molecule. Then uh, like in aerobic respiration, the second step is Krebs cycle because there is a mitochondria is available and plus all the enzyme for Krebs cycles are also available. Glycolysis then uh, second is decarboxylation in anaerobic re respiration. Anaerobic respiration found in bacteria as well as found in some fungi. Remember in case of fungi, fungi are eukaryotic organism. They may be unicellular or multicellular like a yeast and mushroom. They are having fungi, but they are not having enzyme for the uh, Krebs cycle. So second reaction in anaerobic respiration is decarboxylation, where we are at, at getting no ATP, but we are getting acetaldehyde, which is a raw material for ethanol production. And then third step is reduction, where we are getting uh, ethyl alcohol plus carbon dioxide. Production of carbon dioxide is an indication that ethyl alcohol is produced. So in anaerobic respiration, we are getting only two ATP molecule and where is an aerobic respiration, we are getting 38 ATP molecules. So uh, from one glucose molecule, we are getting only two ATP from anaerobic respiration. Thank you so much student for watching this video. अगर आपको ये पूरा का पूरा चैप्टर समझना है, देखना है, तो हमारे चैनल पे बने रहें, हमारे चैनल पे सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए और बेल आइकन दबा दीजिए ताकि हमारी हर वीडियो आप तक पहुंचती रहे।
Thank you so much. Have a good day.